from what I'm seeing here, somebody has like an overwhelming amount of emotion for you. Like, and something about these feelings that they have for you and this connection with you is making them realize something about an either another connection in their life or like their past connections or something like that. Or like how they've been like choosing money over love. Like this connection may be also showing them that like, Maybe something they, that they thought was love was not that. It was just, they were just there for superficial reasons. But it's like something about the love that they have for you or these feelings that they have for you is exposing the truth about something. But this person has like a lot of feelings for you. But there's something here about somebody was definitely choosing money over love or money was a big reason affecting the situation. Like it had, a, it was a big factor, okay? Um, but we do have the seven of swords here. This person was like, this, I feel like this person was maybe trying to hide from you that they had another option or that they had options. They did have another person. They had another option or something like that. And I feel like it actually weighed really heavy on this person that they were like to try to hide this from you. Like they were stressed out about this or they're feeling very regretful or remorseful, especially with the five of cups and the nine of swords here. They're regretting cheating on you, deceiving you in some way, lying to you, entertaining other options, having like a choice. Like they had another person whatever they could have even even like done something like to like fulfill a fantasy or something i don't know but i feel like this person they also were very resistant to change like they were like very resistant to to stepping out of like the, their ways like and stepping into a new them like that they would need to be to be with you they were being very resistant to this okay but i feel like this person also feels like they cannot move on from you but they are dead yeah separation is necessary learning divine lessons yeah taming emotions, overcoming obstacles. Something definitely is blocking some type of spiritual love or a spiritual union. Um, there, it's probably just that you they need to grow. Maybe you need to grow. Let's see. Let's clarify the Ace of Cups. Rejection. Oof. Yeah. They have a lot of emotions for you, but they're trying to resist them. It's like their ego. They have a big ego, y'all. And it's like they don't want to come to terms with these feelings that they have for you. <laughs> I'm telling you what today, but they have a lot of them so much so that they really can't ignore them. Tell me about money focus. They've chosen connections or the connection this other person that they have, they're with that person for the wrong reason. Yes. They've gained some type of like clarity about something. Knight of Swords, sudden action arrival being swept off your feet. What does that have to do with the money focus card? Page of Swords and the the Fool. So maybe they were very money focused when they were with you. Or like I said, they were dealing with somebody because of like it was it made sense or it was logical or they were getting some type of money from this person or some type of financial benefit from it. And then boom, here you came along, right? <laughs> here you came along and kind of suddenly swept this person off of their feet and it like made them feel very ripped apart. Yeah, the sun joy you made this person very happy growth renewal you kind of like triggered this person to ascend to grow to change although they're resisting it growth renewal joy and happiness and love we have leo energy here we have that's pretty much we have air energy say about the eight of wands date what so they're wanting to you may hear from this person they're going to want to see you they're going to want to spend some time with you because they're not happy where they're at or they feel like they missed an opportunity yeah, discontent, boredom, refusing offers, apathy. Mm. Talk about the Eight of Wands and date. What's that mean for my collective? See, I just saw the Two of Swords. They're still indecisive about something. The Tower, divine intervention, unexpected events, D the devil, obsession, destructive habit, or love. What does this have to do with my collective? We have Capricorn energy, Scorpio. We have Pisces. Yeah, what is this? They're uncertain about you. Uncertainty and illusions. King of Pentacles. See, be careful with this person coming in wearing a facade. That's probably what they've done before. It could be dealing with an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. This person's going to come in out of the blue. They're still toxic. They're still, this person's obsessed with you. They're still doing something destructive, still have a destructive habit, or they're in a destructive connection. I don't know, but they're coming in, creating this illusion that they're in this King of Pentacles energy, like they got their shit together, like they're, they're only loyal to you. You're the only one that they want. They are taking you seriously. Are They are more stable, but it's an illusion. It's not the truth. Yeah. Divinely guided, though. It says, trust the journey. Your connection is protected. Waiting. Wishing. Not waiting. Wishing. Replaying events. Suffering in silence. 
ghosting, elusive, no closure. What's that doing with my collective? You're moving on. And this person kind of is going to feel like they have no choice. Like they don't know what to do. Like they're just going to be sitting there suffering in silence while you're leaving them behind. They don't feel like things are over, but you're moving on. Yeah, you're ready to move on from this person. Yes, exactly. They're feeling five of pentacles, feeling left out in the cold by you, feeling rejected. Yep. So this person is going to try to come toward you and have some type of new beginning, but you guys are rejecting this person. Tell me more. I can see why, but tell me more about why this person. They're getting rejected because they're coming towards you. Where'd that guard card go? They keep trying to come towards you and act like they don't have any feelings for you. Why are they getting rejected? Nine of Wands. You're guarded towards this person. Or they're guarded. It's because they're guarded. They need to heal. Yeah. Accepting to grow. Self-care. Healthy choices. Because you feel like it's a healthy choice in practicing self-care to not take this person back or whatever. Yeah. You're trying to heal. You want something balanced. How the high priestess. This person's secretive. It's like you're listening to your intuition when it comes to this person. Aries energy. Gemini, Virgo, Pisces. What about that? The Six of Cups. What about the Magician and the Six of Cups and the High Priestess? The Seven of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles. Children. What about children? Nine of Cups. What? This person does want something with you. What is this person's problem? This person wants to have children with you. They feel like, yeah, they feel like you are wish fulfillment. They're very, they're probably just immature. Yeah, making things manifest what you want, wants you. Ace of Pentacles, steady union. Why are they now wanting to invest in you? But can they trust this? Because I don't think this is Queen of Wands. What about the Queen of Wands? The for, now they're kind of feeling like, okay. What about Undecided? The Page of Pentacles. Mirroring. I feel like this person, yeah, regret. Lessons. This person's going to come back towards you wanting everything with you. Yeah. Which, what did I just say? Wants you back, moving into alignment, manifesting you. Yeah. After they go, of course, after they go through the dark night of the soul, emptiness, disconnection. But yeah, what is this pain, painful ending though? The Ten of Swords. They're maybe going to go through a painful ending. What's the Ten of Swords? The Queen of Pentacles. What about the Queen of Pentacles? The Empress. I feel like they're going to have to feel like they lost you. Like, <laughs> this is going to be very painful for them. This is you. I feel like this is you guys. This Empress energy, this Queen of Pentacles, this person that's abundant and confident, and you're going to be stable, and you're in, yeah, and it's like this person is going to be heartbroken when they get rejected by you. But at some point, this person, they're going to start overcoming their obstacles. They're going to come back wanting you back, I'm telling you, and they're going to, because they view you as wish fulfillment. This person even wants to have a kid with you or something, but they feel like you would be a good mother to their children or they need to grow up but they want you they but they know that it's like they're going to come back and give you something solid or offer something solid to you at some point but right now it's just it's still not set in stone yeah it's like not set in stone yet you and this person both need to go within for right now they're going to have a lot of regrets but i feel like this person kind of feels like you're the forbidden fruit they see you looking good they're very attracted to you they feel you it's like when they feel like you're looking good and you're moving on and you're in this confident, self-assured energy. That's when they want to come in and try to do something. But and maybe normally it would work. This time it's not going to work because you guys are Queen of Pentacles, Empress energy. And yeah, it's like you're going to be able to see right through this person too. Like you're going to be listening to your intuition when it comes to them. <sighs> this this person maybe is it's just their, their, um, their, what's the word? Their behaviors is predictable at this point. They're very predictable. Okay. Serendipity. They're leaving things up to chance and hoping the universe will intervene to bring the two of you together. What is up with this person? I hate, I don't like that card. Like sometimes it's a good, it's good to like, just give it to the divine and let things happen, but not for this person. They have, they, I feel like spirit is saying that they need to overcome. They need to boss up. They need to strength that we have that strength card. They need to stop being so passive. They need to take action. They need to overcome their obstacles. The divine is not going to do everything for them. Yeah, gossip. Okay. There's a lot of gossip that surrounds this relationship that is affecting not only their judgment, but their vision too. So they're talking to people about you. There's talk surrounding this relationship. They need to stop listening to the wrong people or listening to people, period. But we have discovery. 
They saw or heard something that turned their sense of reality upside down, left them feeling powerless and trapped. What is that? Dealt a bad hand. They wish they'd met you at a different time because they feel they'll never get to see what the connection could have been. What is, tell me more about whatever this discovery is. Stone, they are emotionally unavailable. It is for your highest good to move on and find happiness again. Ancestral karma, they are clearing ancestral, negative ancestral patterns that are passed down through the generations. Don't rush the journey. And building an empire. See, I'm telling you with that money, they see how their focus on material things hasn't made them happy and only holding them back from love. Justice. They're trying to do the right thing by offering you something more solid and giving it careful consideration. It's like it's not going to be right now. It's after they go through this dark night of the soul. They're experiencing massive upheaval to help them align with new levels of love with themselves and the connection. Yeah, the unknown. The unknown scares them. They see the abundance you bring into their life, but they fear being wrong. Yeah. Mm. Time spent in solitude has given them a chance to get to know themselves better and set a more solid foundation. So this needs to happen right now. This person needs to get out of this wishy-washy, indecisive, mixed signals energy. Yeah, it's like this person wasn't 100% sure about you. Not, I feel like they were into you because this card says they're not sure if they're into you or not. That's not what it was. This person saw who you would, they saw how happy, they knew how happy you made them. They knew how you made them feel. They knew how they felt about you. This person doesn't trust themselves. That's what it is. It has nothing to really do about you. They don't trust themselves, which means they don't trust you either. Like, yeah. But it says uprooting, they are leaving all that is familiar to them, a long-term relationship. Or it says all that is familiar to them or a long-term relationship to start a brand new life with you. So they're walking away from something to be able to have this with you. Breakthrough, they are planning right now to come towards you to ask for a second chance. Expect communication real soon. Yeah. They find you extremely beautiful, but your beauty intimidates them. They think someone else is more deserving. So yeah, this person has not felt like they deserve you. This person needs to work on their self self image, their self worth, their self love. They need to work on that. Okay. Um, let me see what I want to use. Let's get some of these. <sighs> I don't know what that is about that talk. Let me get one more card out of that deck. What is gossip? How about gossip? Haunted. Their vivid dreams haunt them. They dream of how they broke your heart and you moving on with someone else. What's that do with gossip, though? A gesture? So maybe they're talking to somebody about the dreams that they're having or how they're thinking about you moving on with somebody else. But it says you can expect some kind of gesture to help strengthen your connection. Give them a chance to prove themselves. So I don't, yeah, new perspective. If they were listening to other people, they're starting to come out of that mindset and like kind of gain a new perspective on you and the connection. They've gained a new perspective and now see how they failed you by their own sabotaging behaviors. Yeah, look at this. They're unable to see the complete extent of the toxicity, toxicity that they brought into your connection because that's all that they know. Hmm. Yeah, for some of you, this is your twin. I just saw the twin flame card. Tell me more about what gossip. One more, or I guess they said two more. See, what is this? Yeah, they're stepping up their game to get to... Which is what I just said. They need to stop just letting, just being like, whatever happens, happens. No, it don't work that way sometimes. The divine also needs you to help yourself. They're stepping up their game to get your attention because they know you have plenty of other options. Maybe somebody is telling them that they you have other options or something like that. Stuck in a loop. A pattern has become familiar to them. I told you, this person is very predictable. And they are wanting to break free from the same loop they keep repeating. Hmm. Frequency. They are aligning to the frequency of love and operating at a high frequency vibration with openness to receiving. They see how powerful and magical you are, and sometimes they wonder if you have them under a spell. They're they're break yeah breaking free. They're freeing themselves from their self imposed prison and leaving behind all that has kept them away from you. Hmm. Here, one more. We I don't like that battle of the wits. Until both of you learn to let your guards down and be vulnerable, this love will continue to be a battle. Hmm. Guarded. This person has gone through some type of betrayal or something. I don't know if they they betrayed. I don't. This could be somebody that does shady ass things. So they just assume that they project. They think that everybody else is going to do them that same way or something like that. Or they were betrayed by somebody else and now they're guarded. It's something like that. But there's something about this person has like a very fleeting heart or like. 
Maybe they're a runner. Like, they just, I don't know. There's something here with this person. But when in regards to them, some type of betrayal, either whether that was them betraying you or them scared of being betrayed, I don't know. But they have, like, this fickleness about them. Where it's like one minute they can maybe seem like they're all in and the next they're on a different, whole different energy. It's like they second guess themselves. Well, there we go again with this. I'm working on my self-worth for a long time. I deemed myself as someone who didn't lo deserve love and happiness. So, see, I told you. <laughs> I, always, I was always angry with my life and pushed love away because I thought I didn't deserve it. This person knew, saw you made them very happy. They had these overwhelming feelings and emotions for you. And I feel like you also showed them a lot of love, right? They pushed you away and did whatever they did because they didn't feel like they were worthy of that. Yeah, they didn't feel like they were worthy of it. Yeah, I told you they need to work on their self-love and their self-image. I feel like my life is falling apart. I don't know what to do. I think we already saw that it says that they're going through upheaval. Yeah, like they're going to be going through this period of upheaval and a lot of change and it's not going to be fun. It's not going to be comfortable, but it's for their highest good. It's to get them on a better path. It's to help them wake into your connection and to other things like things that they need to change or things within themselves that they need to heal. Like they're going to be going through it, but it's going to lead to a much more a favorable outcome for them. I feel my life is falling apart and I don't know what to do. Whatever can go wrong has gone wrong. <laughs> Sorry, it's not funny, but that just whatever could go wrong, it's gone wrong. <laughs> but the one thing that felt right was you. Oh, why was that kind of cute a little bit? <laughs> they feel like you were like the one positive thing that had, like, they feel like shit has never gone right for them, right? And then you came into their life and you were like this angel, right? And you were just, you brought them so much happiness and positivity. And they were like, nope, this is too good to be true. This is a this is a trick. Nothing like nothing this good has ever come into my life. This has to be fake. I'm gonna sabotage it. Or maybe not even consciously thought they were gonna sabotage it, but they did. We have Capricorn here. Some of you guys could be Capricorn or dealing with one. I was too focused on my career and my goals. I took you for granted and expect you to wait for me. Unfortunately, you knew you'll be waiting forever. I'm sorry I never put you first. So that money and career aspect keeps coming out with this person. If you really knew who I was and how I felt, you may not love me anymore. I'm afraid you'll reject me if I show you who I really am. They have like this really poor self-image. I want to take action towards you. I want to talk to you, be with you, and feel you. Please be patient, my love. I will come back to you in divine timing. After they work on those insecurities <laughs> and they go through all this upheaval. Yeah, maybe leaning towards yes. So, yeah, they are still haven't made up their mind completely yet. I think I already mentioned that. Yeah, I'm taking a pause. Exactly. I need to separate myself from you in order to work on my mind and soul. Yes, this is only temporary, and I will eventually find my way back to you. Mm -hmm. Past life. Uh, so you guys could have a past life connection with this person. Intuitive. What is that on my cards intuitive and telepathic communication time seems to stop in each other's presence instant connection and deep emotions but feels very familiar with each other let's do i want to do a couple one more a couple more let's see we have third of course of course there's a third party situation there's always one i was actually going to say like before i read the back of the deck that either they chose somebody over you for money or they stayed in a situation for money or the third party just could have been money or I don't know. It was it says main character or the side piece. Another person got in the way of the relationship. The third party could be whoever these gossiping people are too. Feeling betrayed and second guessing self-worth. It could be also for some of you that somebody put them in a third party situation and it's like just crushed their their self-esteem and they're trying to ever since then they've just viewed themselves this way. I don't know, but Oh, yeah, look at this. My pride and ego helped me back and stopped me from being my true authentic self. I'm afraid you'll reject me because I fear I'm not good enough for you. My self-confidence was just a facade. So this is somebody that's actually very insecure, but they try to act like they're confident. Okay, they've been wearing this facade, trying to act like, oh, I'm, you know, I'm okay. And I, or not, I'm okay. But that could be for some of you. Like they try to act like they're not going through shit, but they are. Or 
It's just they try to pers- like come off like they're confident, but they're not. But yeah, I really want to tell you how I feel, but is it too late? Will you understand what I am trying to say to you or will you misinterpret misinterpret my messages? I'd rather not say anything at all. I feel like they want to talk to you right now. They're feeling very drawn to you and push like kind of guide it towards you. I'm receiving many messages about you through numbers, symbols, and images. The universe is showing me my way back to you and you back to me. You guys could also be seeing that as well. I was always so hot and cold with you, and I know that that was confusing. Our connection was too much for me to handle, and that was the only way I could deal with it. Yeah, some of you guys have been dealing with the cancer. Mm, we have summer. Sentimentality. Having a hard time letting go, examining photos, and thinking about the past. Strong emotional feelings while thinking about memories. So this could be going on. We're in summer technically still. So what? Yeah, we're still in summer. So yeah, this is June 21st through August 5th. So I feel like somebody was feeling very like sentimental over you or something. Somebody realized that they hadn't let you go or they're having a hard time letting you go. But it's like, it's, I feel like this person wants to talk to you right now, but they're feeling like it's better to not say anything. Why is summer coming out? What is summer? Reinvention. So maybe that's when they started trying to fix themselves or reinvent themselves. Metamorphosis of mind and spirit. Changing oneself into something better. Working on shadow aspects and becoming aware of strengths and weaknesses. So this like reinvention process for this person has like kind of started like sometime or it already has started sometime this summer or it will start by the end of the summer. And we have great source of power. Look at this. Like this is the power couple card. The dream team of change. Reunion creates exponential growth. Highly influential and agents of change. So you and this person have a mission. to Guys, I cannot make this up. Right as I'm saying, you guys have a mission together. Look, the twin flame card is right behind it. Purpose to live life separately. You're learning lessons. Possible reunion after becoming stronger and awakened. Single soul split in half before reincarnating into separate bodies. I'm telling you. See, this person has some people around them. The third party could be whoever these people are, these opinions. Somebody was maybe telling them that your connection wasn't real or that their feelings weren't real or that there wasn't true love between the two of you or something like that. Unrelatable and unsympathetic advice. Easily, easily influenced by others and their viewpoints. Unpleasant opinions creating doubt and denial of the connection. Huh. So somebody was making them doubt this connection, but mm, you can't doubt or deny destiny, can you? You are destined to meet strong, unbreakable bond, passionate love, and strong desire, deep inner knowing of divine connection. So it doesn't matter if like it, they were a little bit swayed or influenced by whoever these people are. They're not, it's not going to be able to stop this faded connection from coming together if it's supposed to come together. Like it's not gonna break. It's like the bond is it's still gonna be there. 